We have a $500 donation from Funk Royal. Thank you, AGDQ, and all people behind scenes for years of entertainment. You never cease to impress, especially this year with that amazing Ori run and commentary and that handsome Skyrim run. I owe you a lot, so go on, take my money again. And to you, good sir, who is reading this, have a great day. Oh, thank you. We have $50 from KSOPS. So glad to see that people are speedrunning Owlboy. My friend put a lot of effort into developing this game, and I'm happy to see it's paid off. Good luck to all the runners, and here's $50 to fighting cancer. We have $10.80 from Kaito Ida. Hey to all at AGDQ. Thanks for the great runs and commentary. Here's ten eighty to Swordless, A Link to the Past. Yo, French, if you're reading this, I'll donate another $140.20 when I get paid tomorrow. I was already going to, so now it's up to you. Also, thank you guys for putting on a great show. Hope to be there in the summer and learn more about speedrunning. All right, and we are going to go to a Twitch ad. We have $230 from Pierpont Lemkin. Uh, no comment. Thank you for that. We have $150 from Ghost83. These are some nice looking out of bounds. The inbounds don't look half bad either. I might pick this game up so I can check those out as well. I heart GDQ. And that was for Owlboy. Thank you for that. We have an anonymous $100 donation. Congrats for the hard work. Keep going, and may the RNG be with you. All right, just as a reminder, we have a number of prizes available in the running right now. Uh, we have a, the sketchbook by our artist, LLK, uh, for AGDQ 2018. We also have a $50 donation to get you in the running for the awful block AGDQ banner, and for the sketchbook, that was $30 to be in the running for that. Uh, we also have $20 for the Corsair Void Wireless SE. 
Uh, I believe that's a headset. And $30 to get in the running for a custom Prey Xbox One. I was looking at that earlier. It looks pretty sweet. We also, uh, if you donate $10.80, you'll be in the running for an NVIDIA GTX 1080. And over the whole marathon, if you donate $150 altogether, you'll be in the running to win an eighth generation console bundle. That's the Xbox One, the PS4, and the Switch all together for that. We have $10 from Dravox, I think I'm getting that right. Greetings from Norway, loving all the runs. Sitting with a friend of mine and going to pull an all-nighter. We are sitting here, watching the runs, playing some of the amazing games we've seen at GDQs in the past, and generally having a blast. Thank you to all the runners and, of course, the staff putting this together. Looking forward to the rest of this week and all of the great games and runs. All right, and we are ready to start. I want to run the marathon with BBF. All right, all right. So as you can see on the title screen in the top left, this game was slightly modified for AGDQ. There's going to be some things you can find. Not too much, but it's going to be noticeable. Uh, timer starts when I jump into this portal, which I'm going to do in three, two, one, go. So, this game looks like I want to be the guy, it plays like I want to be the guy, but it's not quite I want to be the guy. It's a fan game made by four people, uh, Patrick GH3, KD Kunt, Mr. Wonderful Man and Piece of Cheese 87. And joining me on the couch is uh, Stonk and Yo-Yo, just like Boshi, but we exchanged gas for the fan game Caesar, aka the new geezer. So yeah, this game came out in 2016. Well, we have our community-owned marathon called the Fangame Marathon. And this game was made to be blind raced in that marathon by four runners, and three of them are in the couch behind me. And the fourth one sadly couldn't come to AGDQ, so it's what it is. Can I do the corner? Uh -oh. No, that wasn't even close. Um, that saves two and a half seconds doing that jump. It's kind of precise, now I'm just gonna wait. Uh -oh. Good traps, right? Always fun. So yeah, the first world is based on I want to be the guy. That was close. <laughs> um, yeah, just like Boshi, worlds are based on video games that you probably heard of before. The first world is based on I want to be the guy and has a lot of traps. It's also one of the harder worlds in the game, so I'm kind of happy it's going as well as it is right now. Don't enter the spot; it's a bad idea. Now we're gonna do another skip here. or try to do another skip. We have to hit this button, but we can just do this and skip it. Alright, this is the bait save. We get baited so much. And then we Good. So yeah, the first world is really difficult. If you casually play this game, you're probably gonna hate the beginning of the run. But afterwards it gets cool, so don't give up on the first stage. Okay, that was not bad. That was not bad at all. Of course I get purple. Purple is like the only color you can die to in this boss. Oh, I missed. If you miss him, you heal him instead. I don't know who came up with that decision, but that's not great. Um, so yeah. There are four different colors. And... Nice. Ah, okay. Oh, he's red, then we just kill him. I didn't get the triple. Whatever. Good. I didn't die to the apple. So this story, uh, this game has actually story, but the story is pretty bad. Um, this, gre <laughs> this green guy thinks that, you know, the kid, the character which we're playing, always dies so much, and I want to be the guy fan games, that it thinks we enjoy it, so he puts us to an adventure so we can die a lot. Yeah, I don't know. Nice little block change there. Yeah. I see that. I hope everyone saw that. The little HDQ blocks That's on the good. transitions. That's a good one. So yeah, this screen, Super Mario Bros. world, and this screen is an entire big cycle. If I don't mess up at all, I'm gonna get a really easy quick cycle at the end. Also, Stinky, can you tell me what time it is? Um, it's Bashi time. Oh, wait a minute. That's the wrong game. 
Haha. <laughs> I, was, I was set up for that. Yeah, meta jokes. He told me not to do it during Boshi, so I had to do it during this game. Uh oh. Okay, that was. That was really close. The optimal movement, saving the frames. <laughs> not to mention that if I would have died, I would have lost like 20 seconds, but saving the frames, you know. That's important. So this quick cycle is pretty rough. Like, you're supposed to do this walk off thing three times. But if you do it right, you can only do it two times and it's fine. This screen is about. I don't know. Bullet builds and juggling Coopers around. And we have the best save ever incoming. This save is genius. This this section is where Geezer pulled so far ahead in the blind race because all of us got stuck on the quote unquote puzzles. Yeah, so you go to the right to trigger the you, you go to the right to trigger the big bullet build, then you go back to the left, and then you go back to the right. That's like genius. I don't know how anyone can think of that. Doing the same thing three times on one save. Okay, luckily I didn't die. All right, Stong, give me your best bump impression. That was pretty good. That was actually pretty good. <laughs> so I hope you like swamps. This is like this. This is like, I don't even know. What is going? What is next one going to do? Oh, it does nothing. Nice try, game. This run is. Already <laughs> going way better than I expected. It's pretty good so far. It seems, seems to be a theme today. Boshi was uh, really doing really good as well. Pray for the Pokemon RNG. Uh, I have to get there first. <laughs> We're gonna need it. Um. So yeah. Oh. Ah. Got him. Um, got him. <laughs> so yeah. Bowser. Ah, that. That was a good first attempt. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, this guy has 4 HP, he has 3 different attacks, he, e he just each attack once, and then a random one a second time. Oh, I got the instant push! Nice. That is so rare. Wow. Usually you can't push the shell right away when you jump on the Koopa. I didn't count, I hope this is 6. Those are it is six. crowns, but we all thought they looked like an E when we first played this game. Big if true. So we all just started saying E out loud. Okay. One more. Please give me princesses. Dang it. Um, princesses is the slowest attack, but it's the easiest, so I wanted to get princesses, while on PB attempts I don't want princesses. Please don't choke here. I'm gonna wait. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it has happened before that I jumped at him yeah, too early, so you can read some donations now. Like, pretty much after every boss, there's a little bit of downtime with this transition platforming to the next world. That's where you can read donations. All right, well, we have a $5,100 donation Ooh. from In No Rush. Yeah, there yeah. it goes. There it Lots is. that. I was waiting for that. Keeping my word, here's $100 for each of the 51 Bashi deaths. I lost, I lost my brother to cancer last year, and this seems a fitting way to remember him. Peace and love to all, and good luck to BBF on the run. Thank Hashtag you. Hashtag wannabes. Also, great save here. Um, this can be literally impossible if you have bad luck with extra lives. It wasn't, so that's good. Technically, you can jump over this frog, but it's really precise and not worth it. I'm gonna be ballsy and skip this save, because I can. What can possibly go wrong, right? Nothing. Told you so. Nothing went wrong. Now skip the next one. I can skip this one as well. This game is free. Like, the game is actually free, you don't have to pay it for it. <laughs> Got him! Oh, that was... Oh, okay. That was scared <laughs> of that spike ball. 50-50. Uh, oh, we won the 50-50. Uh, this guy goes left or right when we enter the screen. If he goes left, we can go fast. If he goes right, we can't go fast. I'm not gonna take that save. But, like, that's bullet blockers in this game that... You can only save in certain spots. And they're like invisible blocks that block your bullets. I'm gonna skip this save as well. What? I don't know how to do this screen any other way but skipping saves. Alright, I can see that. Because we, we, we just go back and save now. Like, this is free. This is fine. Can I go over this? Ah, too slow. Whatever. It doesn't cost time. I was told to not do this. Ah. <laughs> I, I really didn't want to die, as you can probably tell. So we triggered the big fish, and now we can save. Nothing could have possibly gone wrong. So yeah, this one is still uh, super good. I'm kind of scared about myself right now. I had trouble getting underestimated in practice. I guess I got all the bad 
muscle memory out of the way as... What? I think I was a one button jump cancel. Which is not really a thing you do on purpose. So this is RNG, the fish RNG. If you, you're wondering why I'm not going below that, you get literally M9. You probably don't know what M9 is, but it's getting stuck between invisible blocks. It's a fan game thing. Alright, easiest boss in the game, probably. That's a lie. Casually, it's the easiest boss, but... In this boss, you need damage optimization. So yeah, I talked about Boshi being, like, mashing heavy. This game is not mashing heavy at all. Every boss has high frames. A lot of them. And most bosses have special ways to hit them. Oh, can I not die here? I died here. Right as I said it as well. There's also a thing in our community where when I call a run, it goes south really, really quickly. It's so true. It's really true. That was a demonstration. Just want to get it out of the way. Yeah. If you go for damage on this spot, it's actually not that easy. And I, I'm like all about damage optimization. Alright, we got a good quick kill. You can clap. <laughs> <laughs> Time for more donations. All right, we have a one thousand dollar donation from Star Shiranui. I think it's how you say it. Yeah. Oh look, here we go again. Or here we are. Again, rather. <laughs> <laughs> have fun, guys, and good luck with the marathon. Less than three. This save or this stage. This is the third hardest stage in the game, I think. These uh, air fans, vents, or whatever. A really hard to control. Oh, I made that. Interesting. Dang it. Alright. Almost past the easy part of the world. But yeah, there's more traps. The game is pretty really trap heavy, but they are funny traps, so you don't get frustrated that easily. At least, mostly. Shoutout to Waltz, who was a force runner in, this, in the blind race. He got super stuck on this save. Like, for five minutes or something. I thought it was on a different one. Really? I thought it was this one. It was this world for sure. Yeah. Alright, hard save. We have to go really fast here. Okay. If you don't make that cycle up there, you have to wait for like... Nah, not like that. Not gonna get me. And we have to wait for like three times for the skulls to switch position. If we go fast, that's not a problem. A little trick here. We're gonna bonk here to... I didn't touch that, did I? Uh, what do we even do now? I don't have a jump. Oh well, you're gonna die. That's what you do. Yeah. Um, we're supposed to hit our head, so we land on the air fan to get our second jump back. I know why it didn't work. Now we got it. Easy. This, this jump sucks. Okay. Um, shout out to some guy on Reddit who told me this strat. Nice. He said he was gonna be so happy if his strat happens in AGDQ, and I just could not do it. It doesn't save that much time, and I die to it like 50% of the time. Oh no. <laughs> I'm not gonna do the skip. Um, you can do that in one go. Just trigger the laser and jump over. But I messed up the setup, so I won't go for it. Time for the most awkward boss in the game. This boss makes no sense. Come on, evil toaster. He has two attacks at the first half. Um, rockets and white balls. Um, he takes a random amount of time between attacks. That was sketchy. Um, and sometimes you get only get one damage for each rocket attack, sometimes you get two, sometimes very rarely you get three. Dude, he's giving you the best RNG. Like, rockets is actually good. Now for the second half. Orange balls, face smack or whatever. Um, we want him to fly to the wall I met, but knowing he's not going to do that. Oh, here we go. I mean, if he flies to the wall you're at, you pretty much can't die. But if you're on the opposite side, you can get super rng would That was like the fastest bell rock I ever, ever had. Yeah, that was pretty good. Oh, now we got a good one. Now we have a really, really, really good world. Best world in the game. Best by far. This is so good. So it, it's Kirby themed, as you can probably see. And there's a golf ball. What's happening? I guess we're going to play a little bit of golf. This is the chill world. You can read donations during this. There's not really anything happening. I didn't do that shot correctly. We have to do full power on the first one, and full power is kind of hard to get. So yeah, go ahead with the nations. All right, well we have $250 from the wannabes. Greetings again from the wannabes community. Just like last year, it's incredible to see a fan game run at AGDQ and to watch our resident hashtag the salt BBF showcase, one of our community's best games while making it look easy. Shout outs to our members on the couch, our talented programmer geezer, as well as our top tier runners, Yo-Yo and Stonk.Zero. 
They can fight over what to put the money towards. Let's use this money to help fight cancer. Game on. So this first part is a two-frame. I first tried it, so I, I was kind of happy, and then I messed up the easy part. There we go. A lot of the shots in this world are like one or two frame window. But that was close. A little bit. I didn't know Yo-Yo was a top tier speedrunner though. Oh, I messed up. I this don't think he is. Ooh. <laughs> what a save. Wow. I, I was I was sure I'm gonna die. That felt good. Oh, I'm really far to the right. You have to be careful. If you do full power out of that position, you somehow fall into the left hole by some weird circumstance. My angle's off today. <laughs> Dang! Not a dunk. <laughs> I'm doing bad on the dunks. Oh, it's a soul. I forgot the soul exists. You need to get this dunk. I, I totally have to. Uh, where's the Goomba at? Not the Goomba. The Waddle, waddle Doody. Why did I do that? <laughs> I'm so greedy. I can't believe how greedy I am. That's gonna make it. You want to really reduce falling speed. That was great. Nice. Eagle. Eagle. <laughs> We're gonna shout out the names every time, but you we, need, kind of, we kind of forgot about it. You need to get out of uh, That's gonna happen. Just right? because of the question marks. It might happen on the last hole. I'm not that good at it though. That's a trap. Uh, this angle is stuck. Uh, okay. Uh, what do I even do now? Good. This scope is really, really, really close to being terrible. <laughs> but it's fun, it's exciting. So this hole used to have a par at like seven or something. It was ridiculous. <laughs> idea. Oh no. Okay. This is fine. Got got angle. No, we didn't get got angle. There's an angle here where you can pretty much get to the far right of the sand pit right away. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the albatross gone. <laughs> oh, that was close again. Yeah, that's no albatross. Dang it. Eagle? Eagle! Eagle! That's golf. That was fun. Now back to the serious part of the run. I, I like golf. It's either. Are you saying that isn't serious? Either you like it or you hate it. There's like no in between. I'm, I love it. It breaks apart the run nicely to first and second half. Sonic World. Gotta go fast. Maybe. So this, this world is really, really slow. You have to get all the rings Ironic. and go around every screen like twice. I don't know. This used to be really difficult for me, but I got good, I guess. Who would have thought if you play a game a lot, you get good? I like that concept. Timber. Timber! That was good. Uh, that was Mr. Wonderful saying Timber. Shoutouts to him. So yeah, this was like a four-man collab thing. Oh, that was bad <laughs> RNG right there. That that horn is supposed to fly by before it shoots. So they're on a random cycle. They take a random amount of time between shots. And that was really bad RNG. Uh, they only had that happen like once. Wait. Okay. Uh oh Okay. Yeah, they can only do that where they screw you over. Shoutouts to Denferok who found this little skip here. You just skip the boat instead of going back up. He was mad at me for not doing that skip for the longest time, and I finally gave in. It's a free skip, I don't know why I didn't do it. I thought it wasn't free. But as I already said during Boshi, I hate learning new strats. I just play what I play. And it works. Alright, close to the end of this world. Um, during these screens where the red guys grow every time you collect a ring, there's like only one path to do it. Which is meh. I'm hit, I'm hit. That guy is rip. Oh, it's time for the best boss. Not. Uh, best song, though. Best song. You might remember me saying that during Boshi. <laughs> I'm gonna say it again. The best boss theme ever. This boss is not good. Um, these drill head guys, they can 
What? That should have killed me. Um, the drillite guys can drill out right below me, and I die. And this guy has three phases. Also, these spike boards can have random angles, and it can be pretty bad. But generally, are fine. Ah, uh, okay. I thought I spoke too soon again. Now for the hard part. The springs. Uh, he shoots the springs out in a random direction. The hornets come in from a random direction. And the fireballs are random. You can hit him twice per cycle, but you have to basically jump on him before he spawns the fireballs. So you have to get extremely lucky. Uh oh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> he tried. He tried really hard. Okay, one more and we should be fine with this boss. Last phase. Only killed me once ever. Okay. Dude, this theme is so good. We can go for donation. This part is boring. All right, we have thirty dollars from Grassmaster ninety six. Hey, BBF, enjoying the run so far. Hello. Hard to believe. <laughs> hard to believe it's been almost eight years since we met. Looking forward to the event when you get home. You know the one. And don't forget the mega sheep. All the best, Grassmaster ninety six. What? <laughs> I have no idea who that guy is. I'm sorry. Okay. <clears throat> oh, what? Okay. V6 world, everyone's this, favorite. This is my favorite world in the game. I used to think this was really, really difficult, and it suddenly wasn't anymore. Except the last save. Dude, the last <laughs> part of the last save is... I, I don't want to talk about it. Oh, wow. Good. Great start. So there's a quick cycle on the next screen. Also, dude. Saying dude is my thing, so they put it in the game. Not like cool guys. I got it. That's close. That's really close. I usually don't go for that. Yeah, I need to focus a bit more during the front than during Boshi, because I have played Boshi so much, I don't even pay attention to the game anymore. But during this game, I. This is difficult. Time for the double debate. Didn't fall for it. Alright. We're almost up to the good part. Everyone's favorite world, especially speedrunner's favorite world. I'm not gonna spoil what it is, but it's top tier. I hope I get unlucky so I can show off the world properly. I actually hope I get unlucky. I hope I get unlucky. That's not a phrase you hear very often. I, I, I want to show off the world. It's so good. It's like, it has so much effort put into it. And because it, it is was, really good. Because of a speed chat, we can get ultra lucky and just not see anything of it pretty much. It's also very energy heavy, so... In, in PB attempts, I really want to get lucky. The difference between good and bad Pokemon world in this game is like two minutes or two and a half or something. It's terrible. Also the music choices again. Really good. Alright. Almost there. One more screen to go. I don't even want to look at the ending. <laughs> I'm disgusted. This part is kind of choky, but I'm okay at it. Nice, and now for this part. This is really easy, except for the last time you press left. That's a that's a two-frame window. I don't know why it's a two-frame window, but it is, and it's so bad. There we go. Second try is good. Ah, oh, this screen. <laughs> I have nightmares of this screen. If it if you screw up once down here, it's really hard. <laughs> exactly. That's what I meant. It's what happens. You're gonna go for the extra shots? Of course. That's a consistent way to do it now. Ah, okay. I screw it up every time, but that's a consistent way. <laughs> yeah, it sure is consistent. Well, it's consistent if I don't do it wrong. So, this is actually the easiest boss in the run. There's no good reason to die to this. Unless you mess up the quick kill and get bad RNG. I mean, this is a marathon run. Also, I forgot to make the joke that run the marathon is being rendered the marathon. So, there you go. <laughs> Only top quality jokes here. Also, this is Victoria, not Viridian or whatever. A lot of people get that wrong. So you can shoot her again. I messed that up. Damn it. 
for lack of a better word. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm not even. Now I don't even have to be afraid of screwing up the quick here because I already screw it up. So I usually shoot her twice, twice. Then you get stuck in the ceiling in a funny way and have to hope you have a jump to jump over a, a green square. Do those kill you? Nah. I always wondered. I'm actually not sure. I just was going to take it. <laughs> All right. Pokemon Grass. And our good friend is going to be right here. You probably remember him. He was nice earlier. Let's hope he's nice again. So, yeah. This is Pogchamp. We have to collect five keys that spawn in random locations, and we can get random encounters. This is like the only part of the game that's actually speed strats, or speed tech, glitches, whatever. So it gives me a random number of grass steps until I get an encounter. There's no key down there, that's bad. That's, that's a key up there. That's an encounter, most likely. Always oh. the last one, always the last one. Oh no, no man. This is, I, I don't want to get hit too much, because I might have to do more encounters. As I say that, at least he's doing the easy attack. He can do Bone Meringue, which is really weird to dodge. That was easy, thank god. So yeah, we're gonna collect the, the yellow key. Oh, this is a terrible key layout. Oh my god, we are so screwed. Oh boy. We are getting at like three more encounters at least. Uh, between this key and the key in the top middle, there's no other key. So I, I, I have two to reset the step counter. And if I don't have keys, I can't do that, so... We have to go to that key over there, and it's so far. Always the last one. Oh, that's an easy one. Resident Sleeper. When are you falling asleep? I'm not gonna do it. You look at me like I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I thought we had a thing going, where you meme and I'm funny. <laughs> I guess we're both wrong. Every Always time is the last <laughs> one. <laughs> oh my god, it's the worst. <laughs> this is the worst I got again. This is so. I don't want to die, so I, I would usually jump up to him and go like. Face and tank. Face tank. But I, I don't want to die. I guess I can go up. Uh, let's not go uh, up. Yeah, that was. That was sure was. So going this up. encounter takes literally forever. It's like over a minute or something. And there's like nothing to do. Yeah, I like, yeah, encounter takes like 10 seconds. Good. Are you okay there? I'm okay. So there's a troll here, which takes like 10 more seconds. Oh, the portal spawns over there. I wish I knew that before. We only have three keys and we're already like losing 30 seconds on my PB. Is your PB the one with zero encounters? Nah, that's my, my gold is that and my PB is like 30 seconds lower than that and still really good RNG. My gold is completely ridiculously unbeatable. Pokemon so can seriously ruin runs. So if we are really unlucky here, we're gonna get an encounter on each of on the way of each to the keys. Oh, we didn't. Good. Now we hope for a spike to death warp on. And we have, we can press Q to damage ourselves. Or we jump into that spike and it instantly kills us. Death warping, good thing it exists. This really is an awful layout. It, this is, it might be literally the worst layout. I'm pretty sure it's actually the worst. Marathon luck. I got good luck to Miboshi, I can't complain. All right, time for the boss of the... Thank God I can death warp. <laughs> Thank the Lord. Two, two Volt Orbs, there are ten, 10 different encounters. We didn't get the two meme encounters. Uh, Hatsune Miku and a corner jump, which is too bad. I would have liked to fight them. All right, Biker Brett, what you got? So I, I don't want to die in this uh, entire gym. I don't want to die. If I die, I lose like two and a half minutes. You swagger. That's not swagger. You swagger. That's not swagger either. Can you use swagger? Um, when you use a swagger... Oh, right, there we go. I deal more damage now, but I'm confused. And now I deal even more damage, and I'm not confused anymore because he did it twice. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, if he does six swaggers or something, you just kill him without him doing anything. Oh, no one's ever that... I deal, like, no damage because I didn't get a lot of swagger. This is literally marathon duck. That was bad. All right, I'm gonna play it kind of safe to not take damage here because I really do not want to die in this place. Gunk shot, of course. Oh, and oh, yeah, it's fine. 
I kind of want to stay at like at least three HP for the gym leader. Five is good. So there's a skip in this area. I'm sorry, uh, Material Art Arts Matthew. We're just gonna walk past you. And we're gonna trigger his fight, and then we trigger the gym leader fight afterwards, so it gets skipped. So this is TJ and Clayson. They really look like that IRL, believe it or not. Um, TJ and Glazen are the organizers of Fangame Marathon, or were in 2016. So they also got a tribute in the game. And this is nice. I got hit twice! Uh, so yeah, um, Fire Fang and Flame Charge are bad. Will always spend Overheat. Uh, Overheat is good for damage, but I'm probably gonna get hit. Yours, this is actually a difficult attack. Okay. I really do not want to get farther. 3 HP for the last Pokemon should be fine, unless I get really, really unlucky. Which, how this Pokemon has been going, we might be very well dying. So Magic Cup is actually dangerous here. I jump cancelled again. This keyboard is so drip. <laughs> Getting hit on Splash is a disgrace. That attack is not free. Alright. Can we bless RNG for no attract? Thank you. If we get... Th this guy has four attacks. Just do Solar Beam. That's not Solar Beam. That's not Solar Beam at all. Uh, it's not attract either, so we are probably fine. Uh-oh. That was Ooh. close. That is Solar Beam. So, it's like impossible to get hit on Solar Beam unless you're me on PB pace, then you get hit all the time. <laughs> yeah. I lost like two runs of Solar Beam. I don't even know how that happens. I'm gonna wait. Okay, we good. Oh, that was actually good RNG. Um, the thing with the track is, you get pulled towards Big Tree Bell at all times, and you can only move left like one uh, one pixel at a time instead of three pixels at a time. And it makes dodging Sludge Bomb and Leaf Tornado extremely difficult, so... Good thing we didn't get that. Now we are already getting close to the end of the run. If we can do this jump, this jump is easy every time. Ah, uh, these. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. You got there. Green Kid comes back, tells us our death count. I'm gonna spoil it, we are 37. Oh, I don't wanna wait for this text box. 37 is pretty good considering the Pokemon RNG. In Pokemon, every time you take damage from an enemy, you don't technically die by counting the death. This stage, this is really good. This is the hardest stage in the game. Um, as you can see, there are gimmicks. The blue orb shoots me straight ahead. The red orb makes me jump, and the green orb turns me into a ball that I can control. I can break out of the transformation early by shooting. I also activate it by shooting. And we're gonna use this to hopefully go fast. I have not a lot of good experience with this world. In my current PB, which is 32-11, I lost almost a minute on this split. Oh, there's a straight GT here on the right. Yeah. <sighs> this screen. Every time. I'm <sighs> Diamond skipper bust. I'm gonna try it. That skip is can, the worst. Can I do this? <laughs> okay. You don't have to do the diagonal again, okay? That was Aww. that was it. I rejumped like a frame rate or something. That saves like 20 seconds. You don't have to do the right half of the screen pretty much. I don't that's, think it's worth it. Let's do this strat. That's better. Green orb, go over here. Don't choke here. Every time today! That's the. That's the third time out of three runs I did today where I died there. I don't know what's my deal with that. Feels bad, man. I jumped early. I knew. Okay, good. The run was not bad, and now it's turning kind of bad. Everything's fine. Nothing is fine. This is intentional. No, it's not. RNG stealing. I wish I could say that. <laughs> I can't even keep a straight face when playing board games. At least I didn't choke on the gate jump. No, that's... Right. 
Okay, this screen has a neat skip. When you're green orb, the kill baller doesn't kill you, so you go off screen and you have to untransform on the portal. Which is like a uh, 10 frame window or something. But you don't see yourself, so it's kind of <coughs> difficult. So you just have to get a feeling for it. This is a terrible final stage. Flashbacks to my PB. It's keeping me hostage. Let's go. Good. Maybe I'm gonna choke the gate now. No, don't you dare. Okay. Last screen before the final boss. Oh, no. mm. Do you do the skip here? Nah. Never done it. There's a skip here. It's not really worth it. You can, you can take the green orb thing to go to the end of the screen with a really precise jump, but we're just gonna do it the intended way. Also, I only noticed when I was practicing earlier that the stars in the background, like the thingy that float around, they turn in the color of the power-up you use. I didn't notice that until you just said it. Good. Final boss, green kit. I just missed that bullet. Whatever. I, I just wanna reload. <laughs> oh, whatever. We, we, we good. We good. This is not good. I wish I was Dark Boshi. But I'm not. So this is like Soul Green Phase 2, but upside uh, from down, down to bottom. Down, bottom to top. Bottom Vertically. Right. Exactly, that's what I was going to say. Okay, RNG. RNG, please. This looks good so far. Okay. Are we going to choke on the transition platforming, though? I hope not. Have you lost runs to that? Of course. I have lost runs to literally everything. Can I shoot the correct direction? <laughs> what is happening? Okay. That was not even the... I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm just disappointed in myself. The run started so well, and now it's... I blame me for asking. It's train wreck percent. We have a bunch of time left before the estimate, so... I'm at least not gonna go over that, I hope. Can what I are you talking about? You're already at 64 minutes. I see the in-game timer, bro. It's inaccurate. It's inaccurate by 5 seconds. 5 seconds, 5 minutes, same thing. <laughs> Alright. The bad part is that the second half of this boss is the worst. Uh, this is pretty bad RNG. The chance of an apple spawning at a height where you have to jump over it on this platform is not that high, and I got like five in a row there. I like being chased by HDQ blocks. Alright. Do I play it safe at the end? Probably. Never, never safe going ahead of the screen. All right, now for the final, final part of this fight. Four more attacks or something. Um, these platforms are random and it's so bad sometimes. Especially this attack, you can get a platform layout where you can barely shoot him or barely survive. Okay. Um, on this part, we have to shoot the green apples. The, the white apples. I, I, I'm s every time <laughs> I get messed when I run this game, I always get messed up with the colors. The literal same thing happened in ESA. Am I allowed to mention ESA? No, it's illegal. Uh oh, final attack. Get no, not really ready on time. I first have to survive this. Ooh, <laughs> calculated. <laughs> Get ready on time. I kill myself here to skip a cutscene. Just get ready on time and time. That last dodge. I thought it was gonna end earlier. That was not calculated. I thought it was gonna end like two seconds earlier. That was mom's spaghetti. <laughs> All right, that was run the marathon. You can see the guys that made this game as well as the games the stages are from. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the run. That was it from me for this marathon. 
I'm glad both runs ended pretty well. They did end pretty well. I mean, this one could have went better, but... Messingno oh. was not friendly in yeah. this game. Unfortunate, but acceptable. All right, I'm gonna head it off to the host, I guess. See ya, and have a good rest of the marathon, and keep donating. Thank you so much, BBF, for that amazing run.